Hey everybody, this time around the question is how do I cope with my fear? And I love it, first of all, that the wording of the question is the way it is. How do I cope with it? Instead of how do I not feel it? How do I escape from it or something like that? In other words, how do I face it and deal with it? That's huge and that is the right attitude. You know me well enough by now because we've been doing this for a while that one of the basic ideas, the table stakes concepts is feel your feelings. God made that beautiful brain of yours and God made that amazing heart of yours. Successful, happy, whole people are people that can really live in both places. So you have feelings. Feel those feelings because they are never there by accident. They are there to tell you something. I mean, after all, think about all of the heroes you've ever had. They all have a moment in their hero story where they faced the thing that they were afraid of and they dealt with it. They rose above it. They learned from it. They were changed by it. Think about your own story. The great moments, the stories that you tell other people are almost always the thing of, I was afraid of the thing, but you know what? I just did it. I did it because I had to. I did it because I was moved to, something like that, right? That's important. Think about it. So often, the moments in your life or the moments in the hero story are the moments where we looked at something that was fear and we just did it anyway. And it told us something. It broke something open. It got something out of the way. That's the deal. Fear can tell you something important. I want you to know that a lot of times people have come to me and said, how do I get more faith? You know, they know I'm in the faith business and all that. And so they go, how do I get more faith? I know that faith is important. It's a Bible thing. I see that there's miracles and they all have to do with faith. Jesus talks about faith as the, the secret sauce that makes it all work over and over again. I think about my own heroes and in one way or another, whether they're religious or spiritual or not, they are people of faith. They believe in something bigger than themselves. And so the question is, how can I get me more of that faith? Because I got to tell you, faith is the secret sauce. Faith is the thing that happens. I have seen faith move mountains. I have seen faith get people out of the hospital when the doctor said they weren't going to live. I have seen faith pay the bills, solve problems big and small over and over again when nothing else works. And so I get it. How do I get more faith? But think about it with me. What is faith? Faith is a belief, and not just an intellectual belief, but a knowing, something you believe in your bones. It's a knowing, right? It's a knowing. Faith is a knowing that it's going to be okay. A knowing that something bigger than you is going to be brought to bear on this situation. Faith is the idea that, you know what, the universe takes care of its own. You know what, I'm going to be okay. You know what, it's going to work out. I just know it. Faith is a belief in something bigger that you have not yet experienced physically. But because you believe in it, you experience the results of that belief. That's really a, a, a rough definition of faith, right? And it works. Well, what's fear? Fear is a belief in something that hasn't happened yet. But because if you, I won't say because, if you give over to those feelings, you will experience the results of those feelings. If you give over to fear, you're going to experience whatever it was you're afraid of, you know, for example. So wait a minute. Think about it. I just changed a couple of those words around. They're almost synonymous. Fear and faith are cousins. They're very close. They're very similar in so many ways. It's a belief in something that causes you to experience that something. So if you are feeling fear, you are so close to the faith that's going to change things for you. You're really good at this, and maybe you didn't even know it. But what's the difference? Good question. The difference between fear and faith is this. You ready? Faith is unitive. It's connected. When I have faith, I believe in something that I'm connected to. I'm part of this universe that takes care of its own. I know that God loves me. I know that I'm going to be able to make this happen. I know that it's going to be okay. I'm connected to something. That's faith. Fear is disconnective. It's separating. It's a dualistic uh, vibe. Because the idea is when I'm afraid, I'm afraid that something's going to be taken away from me. I'm not going to have that experience anymore. I'm going to lose my money or my uh, esteem or that person's not going to be in my life, for example. Fear separates. Faith connects. That's the only difference. And so, if you want to be the kind of person who can turn those fear moments where you feel powerless into faith moments where everything works out, all you got to do 
is move your brain and your heart from disconnection to unity. And you can work this muscle with low weight and high reps. In other words, be the kind of person who sees in terms of connection. You know, the guy cuts you off in traffic and you can be mad and decide that they are a no good person. But what if you just decide, wait a minute, maybe they're on the hur in the hurry to uh, witness the birth of a child. Maybe they're going to go fix something, solve a problem. I don't know. And that's the thing, you don't know. So what if you don't assume that they're a bad guy? What if you see things in terms of what connects instead of what separates? When you watch the news or whatever, what if you go, you know what, I don't get why those people act that way, but I bet they love their kids. I bet they have favorite songs just like I do. What if we're all on the same team and we just need to figure out how to come together? It seems like a big deal, but it's little moments. Cultivate your sensitivity to connection and you will build that muscle. You will build that receptivity. So when a fear thing comes up, you can immediately do that spiritual alchemy and turn that fear into a faith that will move mountains out of your way and put you in the way of real greatness. So how do I cope with my fear? Feel it. Listen to it. Lean into it. Learn from it and treat it in terms of oneness and it will become a faith that will get you to the next level of whatever it is that you're working on. That's how this works. So thanks for sending in the questions. I, I can't tell you how grateful I am for all the amazing responses. Thank you for liking and subscribing and sharing these videos. It is everything to me right now. And I want to let you know that I'm so grateful for all the people who have been ordering and pre-ordering my new book, Meaning Fulfilled. Go find me on Amazon, search for my name, or just go to waypastok.com slash books to get your copy of Meaning Fulfilled. I promise it's going to change things for you. You got it.